So, we just watched the SpaceX uh, Jason 3 launch. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It looks... It's definitely not worked. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look good. No. No, 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 no. Looks like a, a little bit of a, a crash, maybe. Yeah. It turns out one of the legs seems to have not opened properly. Yeah. So, um, that's based on yeah the, the, the tweets and stuff that have come out. The little, little bits of information that we yeah. have suggest that... It did make it to the barge. Yeah. It did land. Very close but... to the centre. He said 1.3 metres. Yeah, that was the SpaceX tweet. She said 1.3 metres away from the centre, which is like, is bang on. I mean, yeah. that's exactly like their land landing one as well. It was like super on point, like really yeah. accurate. But yeah, um, the most like frustrating thing, uh, one of the landing legs didn't lock open or something. So essentially it just yeah, it fell sounds... over. Yeah, exactly. They probably just folded out and then it had one that was sort of loose and limp. Yeah. Got down. I mean, we haven't, so we haven't actually seen the no. footage of this yet uh, no um, it hasn't just, actually been released at this point no um, we've just watched the live stream which unfortunately the camera on the barge failed yeah right um, before like seconds before or cut out anyway yeah there the was some there was some link failure yeah. wi-fi whatever happened on the barge which meant that like and i'm sure lots of people were watching it as well but literally right before the, the first stage was due to like appear on screen the whole thing just froze and then we had to sort of cut away yeah but you could tell like in mission control they were all just sort of peering at their monitors yeah. and there wasn't cheering it was a yeah. bit like and, yeah. and the the people hosting it were trying to sort of like play it up a bit well th- obviously they've got some people like who take care of the SpaceX webcast yeah. and they're, they're kind of like putting they're, on the sort of happy face of yeah. we've got the satellite into orbit which is obviously great and that's the main mission yeah but like, yeah and that is good I mean the satellite itself yeah. is, I mean it's a good thing that it's finally up like it, it's been a yeah. few years of it yeah. sort of being delayed and stuff So and it's, yeah. it's, it's doing some cool science it's yeah. going to do some cool science so, so like box fine. ticked in terms of what it actually meant to do but what I mean, we really want to see yeah well, that's what everyone really wants to see is that damn yeah, stage yeah, land yeah, yeah, for sure and you could tell in the sort of SpaceX audience in actually at SpaceX if you look at the back there's like that crowd of people yeah and it's like as soon as it was clear that they either weren't going to have the footage for a while or the or it had probably they probably knew that it hadn't been successful yeah <laughs> like immediately thinned out <laughs> <laughs> everyone just goes home it's like right uh, that's, that's, uh, enough of that <laughs> um Yes, so yeah, unfortunate. And but. it's quite funny how the presenters as well, like um, throughout the whole broadcast, after you know, clearly the landing hadn't happened, and they were just yeah. like, "But guys, it doesn't matter. The primary mission is still <laughs> successful. Like, hey, would you, would you, second burn for the second stage is you know all that stuff." And it's like, you know, I don't care about that. Show yeah. me the landing. Show me the goddamn landing. So we haven't had a landing, but based on the photo that Elo, Elon and SpaceX were tweeting, yeah. it looks like we might get an explosion. <laughs> Yeah, because there's a lot of like charred remains and bits of metal lying around. Yeah, which is always the bonus from these things. Like, okay, we didn't we didn't get our landing, but at least we get a decent explosion, <laughs> a nice big ball of flame. It's exactly. always fun to watch. Yeah, it is fun to watch. So yeah, I'm um, looking forward to the footage of that. I hope there are some good sh- some good shots. Yeah. Last time, actually, from the, the both of the previous barge landing attempts, you got like actual multiple shots from like a uh, like a following aircraft. There was like distance. Dis- oh, yeah, long, the chase aircraft. The chase yeah. ice aircraft. You get long distance shots, and you get close ups from the barge and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, and you got like a really cool. I remember that getting that really cool kind of close up shot of the rocket flying through like yeah. from a distance yeah, yeah, through yeah, the yeah, atmosphere, yeah. And was, slowing that down. That was badass. But unfortunately, there's loads of cloud cover seemingly. True, it's quite day, foggy. So I feel like mm. we're probably not going to get much of that this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not. We'll um, get some stuff, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, either way, it's going to be a, a big old fireworks show, basically. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Good. Yeah. And the other tweet, we saw a tweet from Jeff Bezos again. Yeah. Jeffy Bezos. I'm quite enjoying like keeping my eye on this whole little thing. Yeah. Um, it's it, on the face of it, it, there's nothing bad in that tweet, really. No, no it, it seems to be purely. Yeah. He's just saying. He's just saying. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> he, what did he say? Oh, I've got. Uh, he said, "Impressive launch." Um, and SpaceX will soon make Falcon Nine landings routine. So good for space. Kudos, SpaceX. Yes. I think that, I think that's that's totally. Yeah, I can. It's just because of his other tweets. I'm. Speaking. I know. I know. I'm looking for. I'm trying to read between the lines. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. He he's obviously just wants to make his voice heard. Um, fair enough. Whatever. Yeah. So, so what does it mean for SpaceX then? Well, yeah. So do you think do you think this is going to mean that people look at that land landing, the Orbcom landing in Cape Canaveral last month, as a kind of like a one off like fluke? Maybe they haven't got it down. I mean, you know, in the public well, perception, maybe they think, oh, okay, you guys, that was just a fluke. You guys haven't got it sorted. Well, it's a slight, slightly bizarre 
kind of scenario this time because it the barge landing is harder, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you look at it, it's like rocking all over the place. Yeah. The sea looked pretty rough. The, the sea had like 10 to 15 metres meter feet feet foot waves which is I mean, that's you can see you could literally see from the camera like the horizon like way you know going up and down um but the failure doesn't seem to have been anything to do with the fact that it was on a barge it no. got right to the barge like perfectly yeah which is crazy and just that that la- if that same rocket had landed with that problem on land it would have still blown up yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely so i mean you could have had that rocket like not even having flown just stood there on its landing legs and one of them breaks and it would fall over and exactly, blow up. Yeah. Like the landing itself was, sounds like it was totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Which... So it's it's in, it's interesting because they've obviously got to now make sure these things have, like that they build in some engineering thing that means that the, it, the locking doesn't fail. So what's, Yeah. What's, but well, sure, It's not but, failed before, but... Yeah. But it I mean, obviously again. they've already built that in. Like, you know, that just yeah, seems like such a weird little error. It does seem odd. It's a strange thing to have failed. I mean, um, it's such a simple a manufacturing error. Or it's something. really frustrating, actually. It's such like a trivial, like simple, like thing. It is. It is frustrating. Yeah, they but, must be way more frustrating. Oh, yeah, than I imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of their like sort of actual reactions. We had a, we, there was one Elon's reaction from a previous barge landing attempt. Yeah, which was quite funny because it was like uh, the video I saw. It was like him next to one of the other mission co- mission controllers for SpaceX. Right, and the guy. The guy oh, just yeah. lo- the one guy was like just like oh like really angry and just like you know just like obviously poured his heart and soul into it. Elon's just sort of sat there and just sort of like shrugs and like looks behind him and just sort of like just sort of like shrugs his shoulders like what what happened? It's really funny. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll be that. a mixture of reactions there. They looked it looked kind of a bit downbeat in the well in the office a little bit. I yeah. mean they were obviously cheering when the the burns were working. And yeah, things. like the mission itself is a success, a total yeah. success. So you can't really ask for more in that in that respect. So no. But yeah, I mean it's it's definitely important for them to get these barge landings right and the next few launches I think they're going to be all of them are going to be barge landing attempts. I think they're like okay, we've got the land landings down. That's cool. Is that is that? But that's not why they're doing barge landings, though. They're doing them because they have to, right? No, no. I think no, I'm not necessarily. I think oh, the next true? the next launch, um, and I might be wrong about this, but SES nine, which is the next launch, right? In uh, like a couple of weeks, early Feb. I can't remember the actual date. Yeah, not but, very long. No, not very long. That's from Cape Canaveral, and I think that they'd be able that be you could return that to launch site. I think I could be wrong, but anyway, yeah. they have chosen to land the next few on barges. I think because they just need to get it down. Yeah, like they need to get that. There's a lot of nailed. stuff they need to get down, though, isn't there? On the just like general landings thing. I mean, they, they haven't actually. They're not going to fly the one that they've landed on no. yet. So they need another one back so they can actually try and fly yeah. it and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, I, actually, I guess on that point, there's a little bit of an aside, but they did the static firing of the. Um, oh yeah. Of the of the landed first stage mm. earlier in the week. Yeah. And Elon said on Twitter that it was. Uh, that there were, it looked good, but there was like some flus- fluctuations in, thrust fluctuations in one of the engines. Yeah, so f- f- engine nine, on. one of the outer engines. Yeah, it, you said it was only there was only one of the engines that fires right when it starts. Landing. Yeah, for the landing burn, it's just the center engine apparently. Yeah. So it's possible that some debris was kicked up during that and like entered one of the outer engines, of the, which is causing the flus- thrust fluctuations. You would have thought that'd be something that's quite easy to fix if you built in. Yeah, you'd hope basically so. some something that shuts off the yeah. parts of the engines for the landing. It'd be just interesting, to, just like a valve shut thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you hope, for, or you could even just like vent, like oh, vent gas, stuff out, just stop stuff gas blowing in. Yeah, maybe not like fire them engines. Probably, no, no. But, I mean, I don't know if that's that's probably more of a more difficult yeah. to do. I don't know, whatever. Just a cover that shuts though. But it'd be interesting to find out how right. um, how much refurbishment they actually did on that before the static fire. Because they didn't even bother cleaning it. It was still covered in, like, crappy soot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looked... Yeah. yeah. So it'd be interesting to see, like, if they literally just, like, checked it over, rolled it out and static fired it, or whether they mm. actually did any tweaking to it. Yeah. My um, guess is that they didn't, really, because they want to know... They want to know what, you know, what it's like straight off the flight. Yeah. No, no, that's definitely... They want to see all the problems, don't they? They want to see which things are going to fail first. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess when they actually do a flight, though, they'll, they'll probably spend a while... Yeah, like yeah, mind you, some I mean some parts of that machine, like the struts and stuff, the metal struts that kind of they think one of the things that failed, for example, in that flight where they got to max Q and then the whole thing folded in on itself. Yeah, those things like they don't get weaker necessarily over time. They just simply fail at a certain stress level. Yeah, and before that they retain their yeah. you know strength. Yeah, sure, so, sure. Um, there's some parts of the structure that would be largely unaffected by it. Yeah. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. 
which is time will tell. We will see. And we're going to keep our eyes open for a, 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 video, a nice explosion video from this one, which yeah. will be fun. Yeah, fun and we'll stick it, probably stick an annotation link yeah. in the video yeah. so people can go to it. I'm sure people will find it, though, because loads of people will be watching it. Who doesn't want to watch a, a oh, massive yeah, rocket explosion? Yeah, a giant explosion. explosion. <laughs> it's always good. It's always good fun. <laughs> yeah. But a, sl- a slightly, slightly disappointing outcome, but... Two weeks time, we got another. Yeah, attempt, two weeks so, time, we got yeah. another attempt, and like, oh, they'll, they'll surely nail it. That's <laughs> what we said at the start oh, of yeah, this one. St- st- I was to- I, I was completely convinced it was going to happen this time. Well, yeah, that's the story of like every time we've watched one of these, we've both been totally convinced. Not, not with the Orbcom one, actually. I was, I was the Orbcom I, one, the, the oh. one that landed in Florida. Um, that's what yeah. made that so mental. Well, yeah. One of the reasons is because I just didn't know what was going to happen. You know, because yes. like, of the previous launch that blew up and everything, I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah. But um. Yeah. yeah. So we got, yeah, got that, that one coming up, um, and we'll be watching that. We'll probably post a video after that because um, there's going to be some good, tasty stuff. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Um, um, and this week, other yeah, stuff. This week we got some, we got some cool stuff to off chat about. Off topic is about basically like how we might travel around the galaxy. Yeah. Like the different types of propulsion we use now and might do in the future. Yeah, like and loads of like crazy experimental stuff. Yeah. Stuff that's not real or even experimental. Stuff that's nuts. People's ideas that are a bit <laughs> mental but but hilarious. Yeah. That we can chat about. Uh-huh. Just ways of getting, getting if it's even possible to like travel around the galaxy in human lifetimes and you know how fast might we be able to go and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So that's all going to be good and fun. Yeah. So, so check uh, that out. yeah, yeah. Tune in and check that out. Um, other than that. Yeah. I think that's that's about it for that's now. That's it for SpaceX. Let's fingers crossed for the next one, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> that's apparently. That, that classic phrase. That classic, well-known <laughs> phrase. But yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. Cheers, guys. See you later. See you later. <laughs>